Wow, what an inspiring story, Riley. We're so proud of you. And only 14 years young. What's to come? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, with great pleasure that I welcome uh, two commanders uh, from uh, the USS Anchorage and USS Sprunet. If I can have all of our Navy men and women of service come forward, please. And give them a warm Los Angeles City Council welcome. We are celebrating LA Navy Days at the Port of Los Angeles, and I was uh, joined by um, some uh, stakeholders on Tuesday afternoon, and as well as uh, the Port of Los Angeles uh, staff to welcome officially the USS Anchorage under the direction of Commander Joel Stewart. And just yesterday, we welcomed the USS Brunitz under the direction of Commander Daniel Cobian, both here today in chambers. Now, these gentlemen are both commanding officers in the U.S. Navy, each with nearly 30 years of service. And um, as I said, visiting the Port of Los Angeles for the week of Navy Days in L.A. Um, Navy's, Navy Days is dedicated to uh, ensuring, um, and ensuring the education of citizens about the importance of sea power to the United States national security and the condition of our sea services through the arranging and executing of local military port visits in the Los Angeles area. Now, due to sequestration last year, we missed the uh, LA Navy Days, but we're pleased to welcome them back this year. And through these port visits, Navy Days, um, LA also promotes the growth and education of the Navy League, specific Southwest regions, 24 Navy League councils and their membership. And it's quite, the, it's quite the sight. I encourage everyone to come visit us this weekend uh, to see uh, these two uh, fresh new Navy ships right alongside the USS Iowa. Really clearly paints a picture of uh, the history of the United States Navy, of celebrating uh, the past, and also um, encouraging and, and, and also recognizing the present. I was also able to take a tour of the USS Anchorage on Tuesday, and I want to thank Commander Stewart for the personal tour. I'd like to, again, invite everyone to come down to the, the new L.A. waterfront. And Mr. Kokorian, during the break, indicated that he visited the L.A. waterfront. Thank you. Um, thank you so much uh, for bringing your family down to see our Cabrillo Aquarium. Um, we, uh, there's so much synergy and so much excitement behind the LA waterfront. And colleagues, as you heard me say around this horseshoe, we need to do more. The uh, ports of call, the 30 acres is prime for uh, retail commercial development. We are the last standing port that's not a destination, that's not an attraction. And uh, we have made some significant strides with the USS Iowa crafted. Um, approving the 50-year lease of Alta Sea, bringing Marine Research Center and Academia down to the port. But uh, this weekend is LA Navy Day, so uh, I'd like to uh, welcome everyone to come visit. The public tours uh, will be this Saturday uh, and Sunday um, in the Port of Los Angeles next to the USS Iowa. So with that, I want to bring up Commander Stewart, Commanding Officer of USS Anchorage, to say a few words. Commander. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, on behalf of... Wait a second. Give a better hand for the Navy. Come on, now. Must be a lot of Army people in this house. On behalf of Commander Cobian and the men and women, the sailors and Marines of USS Anchorage and USS Bruins, thank you for the warm welcome. We have certainly felt that from the moment we arrived. We are honored to be in this city representing the Third Fleet and your United States Navy. Yeah. Those ships belong to the people of America, and we are proud to serve them and proud to support this nation and each and every one of the citizens in the city of Los Angeles. Thank you so much. And uh, let's help me welcome Commander Cobian, commanding officer of the USS Brunitz, here to say a few words. Uh, Commander Cobian, USS Spruance, to mirror Commander, Commander Stewart's uh, comments. Uh, happy to be here. Thankful to all the organizations that allowed this to happen. The uh, City Council, the Mayor's Office, Port of Los Angeles, uh, Navy League, uh, all helpful in helping us arrive here safely, uh, securely, and efficiently. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. It was really, it's really cool. The last few nights um, along the downtown San Pedro and Wilmington um, business districts, you've seen, you see men and women in, in their uniform of, of, of the United States Service, Navy Service, and it's really neat that they're engaging with uh, people uh, along our downtown districts and, um, you know, 
they're eating dinner at our and going to our bars, and it's really neat to see the collaboration, the connectivity. Just between. for water when they go in the bar. <laughs> That's right. So with that, Grant Ivey, who's really led the charge here uh, to to bring uh, LA Navy Week, uh, would like to say a, wor a few words as well. Grant, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love LA, and thanks to the Port of Los Angeles for welcoming them. Uh, the Navy ships again. The hospitality has been fantastic. Unfortunately, uh, we put the uh, tickets out for the public tours, and they went like uh, really quickly. So we How many had people. Expect we're, we're expecting 3,500 a day. We talked to the USS Iowa, and they've offered a two-for-one. Uh, so you need to go onto their website and type in the code Navy Days LA, and you can get that special deal. Come on down. You can stand on the Iowa and look into the back of Anchorage and see that NASA spacecraft. Amazing, yeah. It's great stuff. Uh, you can see the other ships from the pier side. And once again, uh, we certainly appreciate the city of Los Angeles and the Port of Los Angeles for welcoming our s servicemen from the sea. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thanks, Grant. So, Commanders, if you have any influence with the United States Navy, let's bring a carrier down to the Port of Los Angeles next year. We'll make that All right. So with that, uh, to give the official welcome to the Port of Los Angeles and the city of Los Angeles, I'd like to um, um, bring up Commander Stewart. And welcome you, and also Commander Cobian, and Thank welcome you, you and your men and women of service. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, let's do this real quick. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, and thank the United States Navy, right. and yeah, San Pedro, and Janice Hahn, the former Councilwoman, now Congresswoman, all the great tradition that you're carrying on with Joe Buscaino. Good job. Mr. Clerk.